What's going on guys, it's Craig with Tech360 and today we're going to talk about this new LED laser from eBay. Alright guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell down at the bottom so you stay on top of what's coming out next. Alright guys, so you want to know about this light. Now this is a forehead RGBY. Uh, laser that I bought on eBay. Now, I've uh, been seeing this laser on eBay for a while and I have a gig that's kind of coming up here pretty soon and the guy requested there be lasers in the show, so I had bought this one. Now, anybody knows lasers can be pretty high, but you get what you pay for. Now, this one I think was like 130 bucks. Um, I'm gonna try to put all the, all the serial numbers and part numbers and stuff on there so we make sure we're looking at the same one on eBay. And it's actually a pretty cool light for what it is. Uh, it is bright now. I was kind of worried like man It's gonna be like those little cheap lights that you see with all the little dots that move around on the wall I thought it was gonna be something like that. No, this this sucker is bright. Okay um, uh, You know, it's not it's not really heavy at all. It's, it's really pretty light if I took a guess it maybe six pounds if that uh, maybe um, It projects pretty far. It's got several different um, uh, patterns on it, circles lines stuff that moves and dances and stuff like that now the only thing I can say that I had issue with is that maybe it's just my controller. I have an Elation uh, lighting controller. Um, I can't really control it much. I mean, the only thing I can really do is I can move like the, there's like a fader knob that I can move and it just kind of switches between patterns and that's it. But I can't really adjust and tweak the patterns any. Uh, and I can't really you know really do a whole lot with it but you can you can definitely switch through the different patterns that you want whether if you want like a, a line that shoots out over the crowd's head and just like a you know like a like a big line like a wall or if you want different stuff or whatever you can kind of control that but you really can't change up the patterns and stuff like that not with my controller that you may with others um but yeah let me, let me go ahead and turn this thing around and we'll look at what's going on in the back all right so here's the back side we're gonna start on this side to get your regular just a you know, more common plug you're seeing these days on everything on and off switch you got a cooling fan another cooling fan here um, you got a sensitivity knob right here that's for obviously if your audio if you don't want to if you don't want to do DMX if you don't link it to anything you can just turn it on and you can basically set it to where it just runs off the audio only so every time the beat hits the the you know the LEDs will change and dance stuff like that so and then you got your uh, DMX in and out. Now I use these quite often because I have multiple lights. I have a lot of uh, moving mirror lights, uh, which I'm gonna show a video here in a little bit, uh, which you'll, you'll see them. Uh, you'll see the, the lights I'm talking about. And basically what that does is, if, for those that don't know, is that you can basically, you can have, let's say eight lights, okay? You can basically run from your controller to this light, take a cord, jump it from this one, jump it, jump it, jump it, okay? But when you jump that, now you can go in through and you can individually control each light, okay? And that's kind of basically what this allows you to do. So um, this is at the end of my run on the daisy chain, basically, of my DMX linking. So this one would be spot five, fader five on mine. Now, it also has dip switches. Now, when you buy this thing and you get it and you open it up, pull it out, plug it up, it's going to be set to where it's basically when you want to turn it on, it's gonna, it'll, it'll, it kind of boots up and then it starts doing its thing and it kind of just rotates through all the patterns. It goes through all the different things, kind of show you. Now, some people leave it that way, uh, some people don't. Uh, you you know, like I've got mine set up right now for uh, the DMX, so mine is, um, it's, I can turn it on. I can't guarantee it's gonna do anything right now. Uh, let's try it and see. All right, so I found a cord and I went ahead and changed the dip switches back to where it runs through all the uh, little odds and end patterns. And I'll turn it around so you can kind of see it. And then I'll turn it and face it back so you can see it here in a minute. Take it off. 
guys, so there's your little demo and my little quick review of this uh, eBay uh, forehead laser. Uh, like I said, I hope this video helps you out. Uh, I'm only making this because there's like one other guy that has this specific laser that I've seen on YouTube. And I figured I'd go ahead and make one as well for you guys a little more in depth because there's some questions that I had and some things that I didn't see that I wanted to see. And uh, I, hope this, I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions or comments, comment below. Uh, don't argue, don't fight. Until the next video, guys.